everyone, I'm Vanessa Lua with What the Hell Did She Say? And I'm here at the Abyss supporting an amazing show called Looking. Yes, you can watch it on HBO. And we are here also supporting an amazing organization, which is the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. So I'm here to interview a lot of people on the red carpet, so don't go anywhere. Guadalajara, Guadalajara. Guadalajara, Guadalajara. Tienes el alma de provinciana. Sí. I know, I know Spanish. My that parents are Mexican, by the way. Really? Yeah. What? ¿Qué para su pocho o qué? You look so European, I don't know. <laughs> People think I'm like European, but you know, the truth is I'm really proud of my Mexican heritage. Eye Candy is a show on MTV with Victoria Justice as the lead, and uh, we're after serial killers. So there's a serial killer on the loose, and we're trying to find out who it is. So basically, I play her best friend, and I'm an amazing genius hacker. And so I'm pretty smart. Inteligencia, claro, gracias. Um, so we basically, you know, are running out of time, and her family and friends are getting killed. And uh, we need to find out who the killer is. So that's what the story's about. Well, my friend Danny from Zazie's in it, so I support him. So he's great, amazing actor. Super nice guy, and now with the Elizabeth Taylor Foundation, are you kidding me? It's like, it's a win-win tonight. Like, tonight's just the perfect night. And, and I interviewed him, so that was too close. Perfect. Perfecto. This is a good thing so you can, like, check yourself, huh? Look at my hair. Mira, es que el pelo se me está moviendo. Así, perfecto, ¿verdad? How are you? Hey, everyone. <laughs> are you so excited to be interviewing all these people who, with oh, amazing yeah. smiles? Oh, my God. Well, thank you. You have a great smile, too. Let's do it together. <laughs> I can be anyone? Well, I feel like I've been Patrick for a very long time. I, I feel like I was writing a lot. Uh, I'm a relationship writer, too. And I feel like half of my life I was Patrick, and then I've morphed into different characters. So uh, I'm a fan of Patrick, uh, but then Richie's such a nice guy, too. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen tonight? But I'm Team Patrick all the way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think that what we're seeing now is very clear role models of what relationships are, good and bad. And we, we've never had that before. So I'm, I'm happy to see that on TV. As someone who does relationships on TV as well, I think that that's just the greatest thing. We need more of it. So it's helping everyone. For me growing up, I had a lot of support, but I know that there's still a lot of kids that don't. And so I do my part to give support to kids and our younger generation, but we still need a lot more. But I was lucky. <laughs> He was lucky with that beautiful smile. Ah, stop. <laughs> so, where can the people follow you? Uh, you can follow me, you can go to bravotv.com and check out Millionaire Matchmaker, our webpage there. Uh, you can also find me on my own webpage, findingcupid.com as well. Well, he's gonna hook me up with that rich guy. <laughs> Mi corazón. The people cannot see this girl dancing, but let's do it. Hey. Uh, gotta dance, I can see myself. While I'm talking, you can help me pose a little bit. This is more like a fashion thing than I need to be. Right. I'm so happy that I'm able to be here. Uh, Danny is a really good friend of mine. We met last year and we became co-stars on our show. And I just want to be here and support him. And just knowing that this foundation is here and just the whole everything. I just had to come to support my friend. I think it is making the life of young people easier because there's, there's a lot of people who come up in this world and didn't really have something like this to look at. And now they see, you know, you're not alone, you're not strange, this is this is what it is. You are who you are. And I, I love stuff like this because it's real. I love this girl. She's right. Well, my last thing is you have to say something in Spanish. I have to say something in Spanish. I have not been doing my Rosetta Stone. I know my baby won't let me, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it together though. Okay, what's the name of your show? Uh, my show, Recovery Road. So, La Ruta. La Ruta. De I'm not gonna say the second part right. La Ruta. De le Recuperación. Kind of. I'm gonna keep practicing. Pretty close. I'm gonna keep practicing. It's gonna be cute. I know how to say siéntate, por favor. And uh, that's about it. I like it. And I like margaritas. <laughs> Look, at, we have we have four bomb people in the bag. <laughs>
That's awesome. I am so happy to be interviewing you in Hollywood. Yeah. Um, I like the show a lot. I think it's really innovative. I'm glad that they're doing something like this. And I love Danny and Jonathan Groff. They're all great. So. And what about you? You have been you have been doing a lot of movies and going crazy. So tell us a little about your projects. Um, well, I just wrapped in November a pilot called Street Level, and I play the character Easy, and it's about a bunch of drug addicts and dealers and their lives, and there's um, a bunch of the Sons of Anarchy cast, like uh, David LaBrava, Mark Good Jr., and then Chris McCarpenter, um, Danny Trejo, Robert Patrick, so an amazing cast. So lucky to have been um, part of it. and. Um, then I just booked a film in April, that filming in the end of April called Let Me Make You a Martyr, and I get to go to Oklahoma, so I'm really excited about that. I have to tell the audience that this girl looks like 18, and she, trust me, she's older. She's more than 21. We are not going to say her age, but she's, and she's gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited to see you here, because I interviewed with her in Dallas, Texas, and now we are here interviewing. Hola, como estas? <laughs> About all I, I like it. It's technology, honey. So you can see how gorgeous you look? Yes, and so do you. My goodness. I'm a huge fan of the show, and, and even more so uh, since my friend Danny has been on it this season. So super, super excited to be here. Well, I think it's great uh, anytime we have a show that deals with uh, gay people, but I think this show specifically is dealing with all of the community, not just gays, but also those that are transgender, transsexual, uh, lesbian. So it's really encompassing the whole community and showing us all the, the different ways and, and the different stereotypes. And I think it's nice to have a show that's finally giving a broader view to the whole community. Were you comfortable with who you are when you were younger? Uh, I think being comfortable with oneself is a, a growing process. Um, definitely for me, it's something I'm learning every day. Uh, I was a confident kid, yes. I've done musical theater since a very early age. But definitely as I get older and the more I learn, the less I know. So my... my confidence it changes you know it's day-to-day -day. being an artist isn't always easy so uh, you know today is a very confident day so I'll go with that yeah well you are beautiful oh gosh poquito espanol yo soy Jay Jackson rojo blanco right I don't know poquito muy bien <laughs> thank you adios adios muchas gracias what the hell did she say okay <laughs> so I hope you understand me I do understand you. People say I have an accent. I don't think that I have any accent. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I spent a lot of time in Miami, though, so I can totally understand what you're saying. <laughs> nice. So tell me, what were you doing in Miami? College. I went to college in, my, in graduate school in Miami. So. so not only you are handsome, but also smart. <laughs> nice. Nice. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here to, to, see the, to support the finale and see everything that's going on. It's really cool. Is there any character that you relate the most? Uh, you know, those guys just asked me the same question, and oh, I couldn't. Let's, I let's, couldn't pick a character. They're all such great characters. I can't even. I can't even pick one. I'm gonna ask you a question that nobody has asked you. Uh, uh -oh. Let's think. Do you? Are you in a relationship? I am not in a relationship right now. Awesome. Nobody, has, <laughs> nobody in this red carpet asks you that, right? Nobody. <laughs> I just wanted to be the only one. <laughs> okay. I think it is definitely a step in the right direction for helping people. You know, so many people are, are uncomfortable with their situation and how, whatever that may be. And with really putting that to the public forefront, I think a show like this really takes something, makes it, I, I want to say mainstream, and makes it like, okay, this is important and this is okay, even though it is okay, but it helps people, it helps people realize that, okay, this is something that that I'm, I should be okay with and I can be more okay with and not have to worry. Um, I have a, a film that I'm working on right now, or that, I is, that is done and it'll be coming out this summer called The Martial Arts Kid. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool film. Uh, it's a great family film uh, and it's, it's a really strong anti-bullying message. So, and that's, that's a cause that I am very, that very vocal about and I actually play the bully in the film. So I look a whole lot different. You won't even recognize me. But I, we've been working with boys and girls club of America and a lot of other uh, um, anti-bullying organizations such as We're Kicking It and really getting the message out there like, hey, bullying is not something we can stand for and we should never stand for. So you get to beat it at the source and it's, it's another one. It's, 
exactly like looking, bringing, bringing something to the forefront that's like, hey, this is something we got to deal with now. Mikhail Corto. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so glad that a lot of people came to support this amazing TV show and this organization who cares about young people. So remember, be happy with who you are. You are amazing. You are a star. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You just have to click the bottom above. Follow me on Twitter, what the hell did, and find me on Facebook, what the hell did she say, interviews by Vanessa Lua. Adios.